Hi there, Callum from Top 10 VPN here, and in this video, I'm going to show you super quickly, with no messing around, how you can get ExpressVPN for free on whatever platform you're on, be it iPhone, Android, or desktop. I'm going to show you how you can get a seven day free trial on both iOS and then on Android, and how you can cancel it before you get charged. And then on desktop, I'm going to show you how to take out a subscription and then how simple the process is of getting your money back, which you can do at any point within 30 days so that you can essentially use the product for free for a whole month. So no messing around. Let's get down to it. Getting the seven day free trial for ExpressVPN on iOS is extremely straightforward. You just open up the app and you can see that immediately you have the option to sign in or get the trial. So we tap on the trial and on the next screen we can see there are two options for signing up. There's either the one year package or the one month package. Obviously the one month is cheaper so you might think let's go for that, but the catch is you can't. You can't have a free trial with the one month subscription package. So you have to select a year. And I know you see that price, it can be a little intimidating, but I promise you, you choose that option to sign up, you absolutely will not be charged until the end of your seven day trial period. So we tap through to that, sign in, uh, enter our account details for our, for our iOS, uh, for our iPhone. Uh, I'm using an iPhone 14 Pro, I believe here, but it doesn't matter what model you're using, anyone is fine as long as you have an Apple account. Continue, and now we're using the app as normal. It's all very straightforward, super quick, and Express is yours to enjoy. But of course, the very important thing not to forget is to cancel that subscription within seven days. But the good news is you don't actually have to wait until the end of that seven day trial period to cancel it. You can go and cancel it right now and you'll still get to enjoy ExpressVPN for the entirety of that seven day period, which is very good. So before we forget, let's take a look at how we do that now. And now for the important part, how do we cancel ExpressVPN before it charges us? Nice and easy, we open up the settings app, the iOS settings app, and then we tap on our profile name there. That'll of course on your phone be whatever your actual name is. Then we tap on subscriptions and we can see a complete history of every subscription that we've ever taken out on mobile. Uh, there's a couple of inactive ones there and actually a couple of active ones. There's another VPN that we're testing, but the one we want of course is ExpressVPN. And there is a nice big clear obvious button there saying cancel trial. You can see it's not set to expire for another seven days, but as promised, you can tap on it to cancel there, and now it'll keep running for another seven days and you can enjoy it entirely risk-free. There's no chance of that a fairly large figure being taken out of your bank account accidentally. Even if you did, in our experience, ExpressVPN support are very good, they're very understanding. If you got to it quick enough, they would almost certainly reverse that charge for you, particularly because these things don't happen immediately. But it shouldn't happen if you just follow these steps. You can of course do this at any point in the seven day free trial, although I'd recommend not waiting around. Why bother? Why let it slip your mind? Just do it now and that way you can have a stress-free seven days of enjoying ExpressVPN with no money coming out of your account, not even the chance of it. Very simple. On we go to Android to repeat the process just like we did for iPhone for all of you who are using an Android handset. We open up the app and you can see there are two options there once we tap to get ExpressVPN. There is the one month, which it tells you of course does not come with the free trial, and the one year subscription, which there's a funny little uh, detail here that uh, kind of took us aback when we were recording this. Um, got us very excited in the office when we saw that it offered a 35 day free trial, it says there. Uh, frankly, I'm not sure what that's about. That's not true, because once you tap through, you can then see it changes to a seven day free trial. We we thought that something uh, crazy, there'd been some big new change with ExpressVPN there. Obviously not true, just the seven day free trial on Android to reiterate there to make it extra clear for you. So we tap through, add all of our payment details, and sign up, uh, again, safe in the knowledge that no money will be taken out until the end of that seven day free trial period. You can see that once you're all set up and running, the app is yours to use. You can choose to sign into other devices by dragging an email address. We're skipping past that. And we're using ExpressVPN just like normal. So as before, let's now move on to the important part, which is how we cancel that and keep using the app before we get charged. Now to cancel your subscription on Android, go to the Google Play Store and then tap on your user profile in the top right hand corner there. Then select payment and subscriptions, then subscriptions, and then you'll see ExpressVPN. You tap on that simply tap on the cancel subscription icon at the bottom of the screen there and just like that you're done it's going to ask you for a reason you don't have to give one you can just say that you are declining to answer and cancel it and then you can continue to use the app for another seven days or until the end of your seven day period i should say we 
uh, at the time of filming this one did it on the day that we signed up for it therefore that date's seven days in the future nice and simple and again just like i said on ios i would advise you do that as soon as you can because there's no reason not to you can keep using it for the full seven days without any fuss you don't have to worry about that money being taken from your account without you suspecting it now we see now we get the free trial and uh avoid paying any money on mobile so what about desktop now there's no seven day free trial on desktop whether you're using mac or windows or chrome or edge doesn't matter you can't get a seven day free trial if you sign up via desktop what you can do is get a 28 day refund period and within that 28 days you can use it as much as you like for whatever reason you want and then so long as you contact expressvpn's live chat support before that 28 day period expires you will get a full refund no questions asked or as we're about to see in this video maybe a few questions asked but certainly nothing will stand in the way because what you're about to see is me spending my own money for real i don't think this has been done in uh, any other youtube video before i think they normally kind of just leave it to your imagination which i understand can be a little intimidating so to prove it i have paid for expressvpn myself a full year we go to the website and you can see there there's the various different sign up periods and it's made clear that only the one year option gives you a 28 day money back guarantee period we choose that we get all set up complete the payment and now you can see i'm using expressvpn of course like that there's nothing surprising there that's just how buying a product works but what about the next bit well there's actually no time elapsing here what i did is i then went immediately after spending that money to expressvpn's live chat support to request a refund and the important thing to bear in mind here is that unlike with the mobile seven day free trial period, I believe you will lose access to ExpressVPN as soon as you request that refund and the refund is completed. So what I would advise is if you want to use it for as long as possible, set a reminder on your phone, in your diary, if you're, a, if you're an old school person and like doing it physically, set some sort of reminder for yourself, ask someone to tell you whatever it takes, do not forget to ask for that refund before the end of the 28th. 28 day period otherwise you will be charged uh as i said expressvpn their support agents are pretty nice they're pretty helpful there's a chance that if you just if you miss the window by like a day or so they'll still be nice and give you your money back but do not take that chance why would you it's quite a large sum of money so you can see i'm engaging with the support agent here very responsive straight away he chats to me uh i'm gonna speed up the process a little bit we're gonna fast forward a bit because there's a bit of a delay but a bit of downtime in between me answering questions and the support agent getting back to me. And once I request that refund, they ask me a series of questions. Again, I don't think I had to technically give them an answer here. I probably could have said, I, I don't want to talk about it. Just give me my money back. But I thought I'd be polite. I thought I'd humor them, made up some reasons there, dropping in the name of a competitor, which probably led to a few more questions that I would have got otherwise. But after a certain amount of time elapses, a certain number of questions answered, we can then see we arrive at a resolution. And in this instance, the account had barely even left my account or it hasn't technically left my account yet because I only signed up to it literally moments before this segment was filmed. But it's still very reassuring to know that they were perfectly happy to cancel it, even though I'd signed up to it a matter of minutes beforehand. There were no questions about that. They weren't asking me or grilling me over why I was doing that and how weird that was. They just said, of course, here you go, your money back. That's, uh, that's just how it operates. And like I said, I don't think you'll see anyone else on YouTube doing that, but if you wanted proof, if you wanted some, some comfort and you were unsure about the legitimacy of that refund period, there's all the proof you need. I've done it myself, so, and you'll be exactly the same. If you're just ask nicely and you're polite and friendly with the support agents, no trouble at all. That's the bulk of the video done. I've shown you how you can get ExpressVPN for free on both mobile and desktop. There is one last thing I wanted to show you, which is if you wanted to get even more free usage out of ExpressVPN, they also offer a referral scheme where if you have any friends who are intrigued, curious, want to get into the world of VPNs and have heard that ExpressVPN is good, and perhaps you've been telling them it is because of course now you're a, a proud subscriber but not paying any money, there is a referral scheme. So you can send them your own personal link or an email invite and if they accept it and they give ExpressVPN money and sign up via that link, they will get 30 days free themselves and you will also get an amount of money back. Uh, I think it's the value of one month of subscription. So that's another excellent way that you can keep using Express for free. Obviously, got to have a pretty big friend circle, got to have some very uh, willing friends who are concerned about their online privacy as much as you are. They all should be, but maybe they aren't. I don't know. I can't speak for them. But it's a great way to keep using ExpressVPN without charge. 
don't think there's anything else to talk about. Um, I've shown you everything that you've come here to see. Uh, you obviously understand and you obviously know that ExpressVPN is a very good VPN, otherwise you wouldn't be interested in signing up for it as it is. Uh, I would recommend if you have any concerns or if you have any questions about it, take a look at our dedicated review, the link to which I will put in the description of this video. Alternatively, ask me a question, drop me a comment on the vid, and I will get back to you as soon as I can, allaying any concerns that you might have about ExpressVPN, about the way the trial works, the way the money-back guarantee works, anything like that. But unlike so many other VPNs, I think that it's a pretty reliable and pretty consistent uh, free trial and money-back guarantee period. They don't really mess around with it, ExpressVPN. A lot of other providers, they're constantly kind of changing the specifics of it, changing the details, the durations, things like that, and it can be a bit confusing. But I think this video should hopefully stand the test of time because it's been this way for a good number of years now that I've been covering the product for. So, as I said, any questions, just let me know. And until then, enjoy using ExpressVPN for free. Safe, happy browsing. I'll see you in the next one.